Check. Hey. We're back. We are back. I got a topic for you. Okay. Warm blankets. All right. What is happening to us? <laughs> what is going on that warm blankets are a we're topic? Gonna, gonna, I'll, it's a topic. It's totally what's a topic. The next, what's the next explainer going to be? Snuggling? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. There's physics everywhere. And I just want to sort of bring it. Warm blankets. The, the, the time has arrived to come right. to understand warm blankets. First of all, okay. warm blankets sounds like a new emo band. And secondly, I am is, so, It's an underused title for something out there. It is, yeah, warm blankets. But I will say that I'm excited to see the physics in okay. warm blankets. Okay, so here you go. You ready? Okay, here we go. Okay. Here when we go. When you look go. at a coat or, or a blanket or an item of clothing, so that's a warm item of clothing. Right. Obviously, when it's sitting on the hanger, the temperature of the clothing is the same as the temperature of the air. Okay. Okay. So you don't say, oh, that's a, uh, if, if, <laughs> if there's a blanket sitting on the tile floor, you don't say, oh, that's a warm tile. You say, oh, that's a warm blanket. But they're the same temperature, right? right. If they're just sitting out there in the air, they'll, they'll be the same temperature as each other. So why are we thinking the blanket is warm, but the tile is cold when they're the same temperature? Right? Interesting. And the funny thing is, we do make that distinction because you will look at the blanket and call it warm and call the tile cold or cool. Even though, just sit, even though they're sitting there together. They're sitting there together at the same temperature. Okay, so here's the thing. If the blanket were actually a source of warmth, you could put it over the tile, wait a while, peel back the blanket, and then the tile would be warmer than the surrounding tiles. Uh, now I just picture tile on the floor just going, oh, man. <laughs> it's snuggly tiles. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> I'm tired of people calling me cold. Oh, <laughs> man, why did you do that? Why did you put the blanket back? <laughs> <laughs> so, so the point is the blanket doesn't make anything warm. It, it, it is completely passive in this. It, it, it's not a source of warmth. If it were... You could put it on something cold to warm it up. Okay? True. That That's makes all I'm saying. sense. It is not a source. It is not warmth. a source. Even though our language calls it a warm blanket or warm mittens or warm anything else. Okay. Right. So what we really mean when we say an, a garment is warm is that it does not transmit heat energy. Right. That's all we mean, even though that's not what we're saying. Okay. Well, that that first of all, that doesn't sound very comfortable. God, <laughs> I, I just want to get under a blanket that doesn't transmit heat energy. <laughs> and, come on, and, so, uh, <laughs> sweetie. The, come new, on new, new catchy ad for the for the blanket <laughs> right. commercial, right? <laughs> come on under here and let's get under this thing that doesn't transmit heat energy. <laughs> so. <laughs> Here's the point. If you put the blanket on the tile, there is no heat difference between them. So nothing is happening. There's no, okay. So now watch. Now I put it on you. Mm -hmm. So you are warmer than the blanket if you got the blanket out of the closet or on the shelf. Okay. Right. The blanket is just room temperature. You are warmer than the room, than the blanket. And right now you are radiating heat to the air. Yes, I am. Losing cause, heat. Because I am hot, baby. No, you are radiant. I am I was coming in hot. Back. Coming in hot. That's what I am. So you, you come on in. And so you feel cold because you're losing heat to the air. Okay? And right. then you say, oh, there's a warm blanket. Let me go get it. So now you bring the blanket. And now the blanket doesn't let you lose the heat to the air. You keep that heat and you interpret what's going on as the blanket being warm. When all that's happening is that you are no longer losing the heat you were a minute before you put on the blanket. Mm, now, you. you might say that's just semantic. No. Okay. Because mm -hmm. let's say you, you brought in some cold beer, 
Okay. okay. And so you and before you don't have any ice yet, but you got it out of the refrigerator cabinet and it's cold beer and it's sitting on the floor. And you say, I don't want the beer to warm up. Let's get a warm blanket to put on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, because how does the beer get warm? It's taking heat from the air. Okay. Right. Because the air is warmer than the beer. So what you need is super blanket that does not transmit heat energy across its thickness. So you take a blanket, put it on the beer. It'll keep the beer cold by preventing heat from coming from outside of the beer from entering the beer. Oh man. So. So the point is, so, so the blanket that you're calling a warm blanket is also a cold blanket. It's a cold blanket too. Now. And, and by the way, is, we have another word for things like that that you carry around and it's called a thermos. Okay, that's true, right. Yes, whether it's a thermos cooler or a thermos for liquids. It's, it's, the, yeah. it's, it's, it's the thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. Cold things cold. Right. The thermos is the ideal blanket for the food that's contained within it. So if you wanted the if you wanted the best bed of them all, turn it into a thermos. <laughs> it's just oh not God. cuddly, but boy, you will stay. You in fact, you'll become too hot because your body needs to actually cool off; otherwise, right. you'll overheat. So I, I just wanted to clarify the fact that warm blankets are simply blankets that don't transmit heat energy. And it'll work keeping your beer cold or you warm. And, and more broadly, it'll maintain the temperature of whatever it is it's covering. Nice. There it is. And if you're not having a good time, then that's a wet blanket. But that's a whole nother explainer. <laughs> whole nother that's, explainer. That's another, another whole nother, another. <laughs> um, so, um, so basically, this is what insulation is. Insulation. We don't think of blankets as insulation, but that's what they are. And if one blanket is not working for you, you get a second blanket. Right. So the two combined make it even harder for heat to transfer from one place to another. Okay. So now, how does that how does that explain why no matter how many blankets I put on my wife, her feet are still cold? <laughs> We have top scientists working on that right now. <laughs> How can your feet be cold? You're wearing boots, thermal socks, and three blankets. How are your feet cold? It's impossible. <laughs> so um, we may have talked about this in another explainer, Chuck. I'm not sure. But you, you will feel cold if you are losing heat to your environment. Right. Yes. And you will feel warm if you are gaining heat from the environment or if your heat does not lose to the environment, uh, um, has a hard time leaving your body going into the environment. Yeah, we so, talked about that during wind chills. Well, wind chill, we did talk about that. That's yeah, right. we talked I, about I, that I, during I wind chills. I had some memory of that. So warm mittens, you know, what makes mittens warm? They're keeping your fingers touching each other. Right. In a mitten, when one finger loses heat, it goes to the next finger. Right. Well, well, you want that heat. So you're radiating to yourself inside the mitten, right? Whereas gloves, where all your fingers are separated, you it's trying to prevent your skin from making thermal contact with the air, but you have all this surface area on each finger for each finger of the glove. And right. so that's why it's harder to keep your fingers warm in gloves than it does in mittens. See, that's all and this is ever doing. And that's a wonderful metaphor for where we are in America right now. America, the country that prides itself on being a glove where each finger is independent of one another, when right now what we really need to be is a mitten, each one of us giving heat to one another, relying upon each other in order to be warm together. So Kumbaya. <laughs> Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I'm sorry <laughs> Chuck I didn't think you had it in you Chuck that was beautiful that, 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 oh. that, that, that'd be beautiful <laughs> Kumbaya is great I forgot so, about that. But, but what that but what that means is if you jump into if, if, you, if you have a partner in bed who's been there for some time 
holding aside your wife's feet, which top researchers are still working on. If right. you have a partner that's been in bed under the covers, under the quote, warm blanket, and you've been outside and you feel cold because you're losing heat faster than your body is comfortable. And you say, I'm going to jump in bed. The moment you jump in bed, you will touch your partner and start taking heat from them. Right. The moment you start taking heat from them, you feel warm. And you say, oh, honey, you're warm. And what do you feel like to her? Oh, um, my gosh. I, what I feel like to her is a call to her divorce lawyer. Because... <laughs> it's not, so, so you're taking heat from her. The fact that she's losing heat from you means she feels cold. Right. So two people cannot feel warm with each other at the same time. You can be neutral. One will feel cold, the other hot. One will feel hot, the other cold. But you both can't feel warm touching each other. Thermodynamically, that's not possible. Nor can you both feel cold touching each other. Somebody is it's either neutral or somebody's taking heat from the other. Right. Well, judging on my marriage, uh, <laughs> clearly, we know who's going to be taking what from whom. <laughs> what, what kind of heat energy? Who's got what? I'm just anyway, saying. So that's it. That's all I got to say about, about blankets. All right. Blanket. I'm, I'm, I, I, you pulled it off. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> So think of it not as a warm blanket, just as a blanket. As a blanket. And serving as a thermos in your life to keep the cold beer cold or the hot uh, or you warm right. at, your, at, at your body temperature. Oh, one last thing before we wrap. Mm -hmm. Reptiles are the same temperature as their environment because they're cold blooded. That's what cold blooded means. It doesn't mean their blood is cold. It just oh, means they don't yeah. regulate it and, and, and make it a higher temperature. So it's the same temperature as the air. So you could put a blanket on a reptile, but it'll be vastly yet less useful to it than right. if it were warm-blooded. Well, now I feel bad about making my iguana wear a sweater. <laughs> Damn, all that for nothing. All that knitting for nothing. <laughs> oh, how much knitting could that have been? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're and, and, and just quickly, if the iguana goes out into the cold weather, you're gonna wanna bring him a sweater because then they will be losing their body heat to the air and maybe they don't want to do that at that moment. Right. Okay. Cause okay. they live that way, but maybe they want to stay warm and snakes. You ever see snakes in the summertime, they'll come out and, and sunbathe on the rocks cause that yes. feels good. Right. But yeah. they, but that's because a source of energy is being handed to them by sunlight. Right. You can't just give a blanket to a snake and say, you don't need the sunlight, just snuggle up in the blanket. They're, they're, that's not going to work. Right. And the reason why you don't give a blanket to a snake is because they're a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for figuring that one out, Chuck. Right. They just, they don't deserve anything, damn it. <laughs> Don't yes. give a blanket to a snake Don't give because a it's a snake. Because it's That's, a snake. What kind of reasoning is that? <laughs> I don't like snakes. That's where that reasoning comes from. It's that simple. All right. Oh, we that's call cool, it man. Well, there. there you go. Um, and what I learned is this. If you are using a blanket to keep your beer warm, I invite you to a little place called Walmart or Target to buy a cooler. <laughs> because no, but you wouldn't use the blanket to keep your beer warm. You use the blanket to keep your I'm beer sorry, warm. I'm sorry. Ah, I said it wrong. Damn it. Damn. I messed it up. Damn. God. Anyway. Oh, well. All right. We good, Chuck. <laughs> this is great. Star Talk. Explainers. Over and out. Keep looking up.